Hi everyone! Let's start coloring this very cute picture from Sagar og Zagner by Emily Lindehall Oberg. I wanted to start it for a long time, but I wanted to color it especially during the winter season. If you follow my channel and if, if you have seen my video about all finished works in this book, in that video I mentioned that my favorite way of doing background in this book is simply cover background with paint and many of my finished pictures have this plain background where I used sometimes gouache paints, sometimes acrylic. Here I decided to use acrylic paint in olive green color. I am using Ukrainian brand of paint, but it doesn't matter. I have similar color from Amsterdam brand and any acrylic paint of decent quality, which provide you with nice density, nice opacity, will help us to do very quick background. When I color background with acrylic paints, usually I prefer to use at least two sizes of brushes and my set of synthetic brushes in different shapes is really very helpful. First I start from outlining the whole image with smaller brush and then after I did this very tedious and time-consuming work I cover the rest of the background using larger flat brush. Usually it's enough to apply two layers of acrylic paint to get such an opaque and quite intense background. I love to color berries in Emily books and I know that most of all these berries resemble cranberry or maybe blackberry, blueberry, but as I already colored red and blue berries in this book, I wanted something new, so I decided that I will do these berries with yellow and orange colors. Also, I plan to slightly limit amount of colors which I will be using for this page, so orange color which I use as a mid-tone on the berries, I also plan to use to color fox. In this way, the whole color palette of the picture will be well balanced. When I color berries, I try to show that they are quite ripe and that they have shiny surface. To show this, I leave on each berry uncolored area its highlight and then I color each berry according to the rules of the shading for the sphere. I have lighter area, I have mid-tone and shadow, so I combined lemon yellow yellowed orange and cadmium orange hue. To add additional volume to the berry bush, later I also darkened all areas where one berry uh, cast shadow on the berry which is behind or where leaves uh, partly cover berries. So in each area where leaves and berries are intersected. On this picture we have two types of leaves and I decided to select different hues of greens for both types. For the berry bush I will be using uh, blue-green or even grey-green colors and for the bigger leaves I will be using warmer hues of greens. I can say that even um, yellow-green. To unite both types of leaves and again to limit myself with a certain amount of colors which I plan to use throughout the whole picture, on the bigger leaves I also will be adding a little bit of orange and also a little bit of mahogany red to make leaves uh, looking slightly more interesting and also the same colors I will be using in coloring the main image, gnome, fox and lantern. This video will be dedicated 
to the berries and leaves and I think that in the second part I will be covering lantern and fox. Also, in the end of this video I wanted to show you small trick. When you do background with acrylic paints, like I did here, sometimes shape of the image isn't very accurate and when you color later with colored pencils, uh, sometimes you can um, go to this acrylic paint on the background and in the end the whole picture doesn't look very tidy. So we need to do shapes of all images more precise. In such cases I took a um, pencil which is slightly darker comparing to the color of the background and I prefer to use harder types of pencils. Here, for example, I will be using dark indigo from Polychroma set and I will simply outline all leaves where I wasn't very happy with the shape, where I slightly uh, went to the leaf with acrylic paint, so I need to correct shape of the leaf. And darkening area around all leaves also helped the whole image to pop up on the background, so I was quite happy by the effect. And after I outlined everything with this polychromous dark indigo, picture looked much more tidy, much more accurate and professional.